I think that it is fair to say that although impressive at times, Manchester United have not performed as well as we have expected them to. This can be attributed to the fact that the squad to the inclusion of Cristiano Ronaldo, Jadon Sancho and Rafael Varane this summer alone. However, I still think that Manchester United have a lot of room for improvement and part of that improvement begins with the comeback of Marcus Rashford into the squad, hopefully the starting 11. Welcome to the JVM Football Channel, where you can find game analysis, football history, individual performances, top 10s, etc. If you are interested and would like more football content like this, please subscribe to the channel. Today, I'm going to go over how Marcus Rashford's comeback into the main squad will improve the Red Devils and hopefully take them into the next level. Manchester United's problem this season has stemmed from a lack of quality in the middle of the pitch. Rashford will not fix this problem, but his addition will allow this problem to be less evident. Manchester United's problem this season has not been goals as the Red Devils have scored three or more goals twice this season in the Premier League against Leeds and against Newcastle. Manchester United have a lot of talent, we're talking about Cristiano Ronaldo, Mason Greenwood, Cavani, Jadon Sancho, Jesse Lingard, Bruno Fernandes, Paul Pogba, but unfortunately none of these guys are out and out left wingers. None of these guys can do the things that Rashford can do in the wing. Ronaldo is of course an exception, but unless you have been living under a rock, you know that Ronaldo doesn't really play on the wing anymore. Ronaldo prefers to play more centrally. Sancho is another player that can play on the left, but Sancho's games involves a lot of link-ups, with him often preferring to play inside. When Rashford comes back, the team will get that width on the left back again. We might also see some of the amazing partnerships that Rashford created in the team, mainly with Luke Shaw, Bruno and Cavani. Now, let's look at how Rashford has been performing from the last few seasons. In the 2019-2020 season, Rashford played 44 games in all competitions and scored 22 goals and registered 12 assists. Of those 22 goals, 17 came from the Premier League. This was Rashford's best scoring campaign so far. With the departure of Romelu Lukaku, Rashford, Greenwood and Martial were tasked with scoring the goals and they delivered. This season, Rashford averaged 3.1 shots per game, 1.4 shots on target per game, 1.1 key passes per game, 1.9 successful dribbles per game with a 49 conversion rate in the Premier League. Last season, Rashford scored 21 goals and assisted 17 times in 57 games played in all competitions, with Marcus Rashford scoring 11 and assisting another 11, as well as scoring 6 goals in 6 Champions League games. Last season, Rashford averaged 2.1 shots per game with 1 shot on target per game, 1.2 key passes per game and saw an improvement of 2.2 successful dribbles per game with a better conversion rate too, now 50%. I think that it was important to look at these numbers to better understand what type of output Rashford has been producing. From these numbers we can see Rashford's impact, scoring 20 plus goals in back to back competitions as well as 10 plus assists in back to back competitions. Rashford is a direct player who is not scared to run at defenders. His successful dribbles percentages aren't as high as they could be, but that's just because Rashford attempts a lot of dribbles per game. Even so, he saw an improvement on how many successful dribbles he completed going from 1.9 to 2.2. Rashford is also an underrated creator. As I mentioned before, he has registered 10 plus assists in back to back seasons and has also averaged at least one key pass per game over the last few seasons. This will be a key in this United attack the ability to have a player that can create from the wing in those tight games. We can see this last season especially against Southampton where Rashford crossed that ball to Cavani and against Burnley when he delivered that cross to Pogba's amazing finish. In a team with so much talent, this ability of Rashford to create will save United in crucial points. In part, we can say that this has been one of Manchester United's biggest problems. That is why Paul Pogba has to play from the left and then McFred takes the midfield pivot. I want to also highlight Rashford's Champions League performance last season, where he finished as the group stage top scorer. I think that this went a bit under the radar, everyone is so focused on Mbappe and Haaland and that put Rashford's performances a bit under the radar. Out of those 6 goals, let's not forget that winner against PSG and that hat-trick from the bench against Leipzig, which once again emphasises how much of a big game player Rashford is. As United go on to fight on all fronts in all competitions for titles, there will be a big focus on what players like Ronaldo, Cavani and Bruno can do in the big moment. The addition of Marcus takes a bit away from the, all that expectation. One thing I will criticise Rashford on is the amount of big chances he has missed over the past two seasons. 24 big chances missed. 
This has been a part of his game that has been heavily scrutinised by football analysts, pundits, commentators, etc. Rashford tends to miss a lot of chances. He has gone from 13 two years ago to 11 last season. But if Marcus is going to play in this offensive-minded squad with the amount of talent and options around, he cannot miss those many chances. Rashford is one of my favourite players, I am eager to see him back on the pitch and I know for a fact that he will have a massive impact on this team. Just tactics wise, Rashford's comeback will force Oli to play Pogba in the pivot, a position that I think he's one of the best in the world at. Playing Pogba in the pivot and the creativity that Rashi brings, alone, will propel this Manchester United squad. Thank you very much for watching the video to the end. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more game analysis, football history, individual performances, top 10s, etc. This is the beginning of something special and it would mean the world to me if you subscribed and helped me to grow this channel.